vital interest. The last time I addressed this committee, the security situation in Europe was complex. Since then, the situation has only grown more serious and more complicated. Today, Europe faces security challenges from two directions. First, to the east, Europe faces a resurgent, aggressive Russia. Russia has chosen to be an adversary, imposes a long-term existential threat to the United States and to our European allies and partners. Russia is eager to exert unquestioned influence over its neighboring states to create a buffer zone, and Russia is extending its coercive influence yet further afield to try to reestablish a leading role on the world stage. Russia does not want to challenge the agreed rules of the international order. It wants to rewrite them. Russia sees the United States and NATO as threats to its objectives and as constraints on its aspirations. So Russia seeks to fracture our unity and challenge our resolve. Russia, Mr. Chairman, as you said, recognizes strength and sees weakness as opportunity. To that end, Russia applies all instruments of national power, including its military, to coerce, corrupt, and undermine targeted European countries. Some call this unconventional warfare. Some call it hybrid. I like to talk about it as sending in little gray men who use their diplomatic, economic, and informational tools in addition to military pressure to shape and influence nations without triggering a NATO Article 5 military response. To the south, from the Levant through North Africa, Europe faces a complicated mix of mass migration